Chris Johnson, all these young cats trying to come for your NFL record for most mm-hmm. scrimmage yards in a season. I mean, what are they even thinking? Why try? Oh, uh, man, well, they got an extra game. I know. They got an extra game than I had or whatever like that. But That doesn't count. There's yeah. an asterisk. It's got to be done in, in a 17 17- week things situation yeah. right in a 17 week situation but you know playing this game anytime you plan to set a record or anything it's going to get broke one day so it is what it is oh you seem wow i thought you were going to come in here like swinging 10 years in the nfl i'm this guy got the record no you're good yeah yeah i'm good you know you got to pass the torch down hopefully um i can pass it down to my kids or whatever oh, like that wow. I, I wouldn't mind if one of them break it but you know it's meant to be broke one Who day. Who do you think is going to break it? Who would you be okay passing that torch down to? Um, Christian McCaffrey got real close. Yeah, he got close. He got close. But I would love to pass it down to another Tennessee Titan. So, you know, if Derrick Henry was to do it, then I wouldn't mind. Okay, what's going on with Derrick Henry? Derrick Henry, El Tractor Cito, the king. He's had 100-yard game this year. I feel like he doesn't really quite look like himself. He's got a bit of a toe injury. Now, I know... And I also think this is why you're not up in arms. You're tired because you just took a flight over here with the team. So I know you're tired. What did you learn? What do we know about Derrick Henry? Um, you know, it's early. They have, like I said, they have 17 games. It's early. It's a long season. Um, and you know how Derrick Henry is. He's a volume back. So the more touches you get, the more games he play, then, you know, he, he only have one 100-yard rushing game. But he might have that game where you get 200, 230, mm-hmm. three, four hundred yard games back to back. You know he's bound to do it, and he can do it. Are you close with Rabel? Are you like, can you call? Over? Did you walk up to Rabel on the on the plane while he's eat, drinking his ginger ale and say, give him the ball more? Man, I'm going to have to call Miss Amy Adams. <laughs> I'm, gonna go, I'm going straight to the owner. I'm going to call Miss Amy. <laughs> I love it. So we're here. I understand that you're going to be the 12th Titan this weekend. Tell me about yes. that. Yeah, so the 12th Titan uh, go out, I, I think it's either two options, either the middle of the field or they say somewhere in the stadium at the top on the roof somewhere. What? Doing something, you know, getting the crowd pumped up and getting them ready to give Derrick Henry 30 touches. And <laughs> See, he, he looked at the camera. He said, Amy, he's got to get 30 touches. We need him to be the – and that's what it's going to take against this Raven squad, number two defense. Now, you played them. You actually played them twice your rookie year, right? right in 2008, right. and you yes. guys got them in the playoffs. Remember when this rivalry used to be, like, the craziest thing? When you had Eddie George, yeah. and then you had Ray Lewis, and then you got there. Like, I know yeah. Javon Kurz told you that this rivalry meant something. Yeah, it definitely meant something. And it was crazy because, like you said, it started Eddie George and Ray Lewis – and when I played, it was still Ray Lewis was still there. So, you know, played against Ooh. him. You know, that was a good rivalry. We used to go back and forth. And then Derrick Mason ended up leaving from Tennessee and going over there to the Ravens. So we get to play against him as well, too. So it definitely was a rivalry. And it was always nice playing against those guys. What was like your memory of this matchup? Um, you got I, a Ray Lewis story? Some shit talking? What do you got? Oh, uh, man, I think um, my first time, you know, against – Playing against him, we had to go down to Baltimore. And I always watched him growing up and things like that. And um, I remember the first time he hit me um, when, I was on the, <clears throat> when I was on the ground. He's like, I love you, young fella. I'm like, what? <laughs> We're in the middle of the game. What you talking about, Ray? <laughs> what did you say? Is that, is that, did you say that to him? No, that's what he said to me. And what was your answer? And then I just got up and went back to the huddle. Yeah, <laughs> and, and then you faced him again. You know the craziest thing? I think one of the one of the... One of the things I hate most about my NFL generation experience is mm. that was your one trip to the playoffs, yeah. 2008. Ten-year career, you well, never got twice. back. You no, went twice? We, yes. I, we almost made the Super Bowl when I was with Arizona. Oh, I forgot. Arizona. Hold on. We what? made it to the NFC um, championship game, and we lost to Cam Newton. As a Newton. Titan. You well, as a Titan, won. yeah, once as a Titan. Yeah, yeah. that was... Brutal. That's brutal because you would say you were just too. It was you're too good for what was going on. Yeah, there. yeah, it was brutal. It um, was brutal. Okay, so what are you looking forward to being here in London? Obviously, the twelfth tight, and we've got this big matchup. Give me the Chris Johnson keys to this game. Um, I think give Derrick Henry the ball, get him going. You're looking at me like yes. I got like yeah. I I don't I don't talk to Raves, <laughs> yeah. but I agree with you. Yeah, well, I say give Derrick Henry, Henry the ball, get him going. Get D Hop going, and if we get those two guys going, I think we'll be okay. And you know, we give Derrick Henry the ball enough time, 
that'll keep the ball out of Lamar Jackson's hands mm-hmm. or nothing. I think we'll be okay. That's the keys to the victory. We're talking about your career, obviously, some playoff runs, all of that. Let's. You took on the Ravens twice in 2008, and then you had a beautiful run. I just want you to give me, just because of the nostalgia of this and all of it, this 2015 situation where you were a Cardinal facing the Ravens and you went off for 122. Talk me through this run. Oh, that was Monday night football. You know, anytime Monday night, the lights is on, uh, prime time game, you got to come to play. And I think we had a stretch play right there and just put my foot in the ground, got a feel, and broke a few tackles and went to the crib. <laughs> Chris, Chris, how tired are you right now? Are you right more now, tired than you were after that run from your flight I'm, with I'm actually the jet okay lag? Right, I'm actually okay right now. I ain't going to get tired until I get in the car and driving back. Then I might fall asleep, man. We're, well, we love having you here. You were the fastest man alive. Mm-hmm. You just were. And you laid claim to it. You said, I'm here. I'm the best. I could beat Usain Bolt, all of that. I want to show you the speeds of some of these teams. I mean, this Dolphins team. Oh, yeah. Okay, so talk me through it. Here are the top speeds in the NFL this season. All Miami, all the time. Where are you clocking yourself in on this list? Am I prime? Mm-hmm. Definitely at the top of that. More than 22, huh? Yeah, I think I, I think my top one was like 26 or something like that. Well, we did played. some we did some research, and here's what because here's the thing: mm. they didn't have this kind of stuff when you were you were playing this sort of MPH stuff. The top speed that we could find for you was 22 miles per hour on a 76-yard touchdown run against the Ravens, and that's according not to me. Oh wow! According to ESPN Sports Science, uh, do you think this is accurate, or do you think this was faster than that? Come on, what are we talking about here? That was fast. I think I had one faster, but that was 22 what, though, because that put me at the top. I think Tyree was 22. It was 22.01 or something like that. Yeah. We can take a look. So you were faster than all of these cats in your prime. Yes, of course. You're faster than everybody in the NFL right now in your prime. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's what we like to hear from Chris Johnson, (laughs) CJ2K. That's what it is. Now, this um, Devon A. Chan, have you seen him? Yes, I seen him. What are your thoughts? Oh, uh, man, he's been playing great and up until he got hurt. Um, like, I was excited to see what type of year he was going to put together for him to come in and not being projected as the top back and for him to come in and do the things that he's been able to do, man. It's just amazing. It just shows you when you have to take advantage of your opportunity. Like, when guys get hurt, like, because I think the guy in front of him mm-hmm. um, got hurt, so he got his opportunity. So when you get in there, you got to take advantage of your opportunity and, and show what you can do. What do you make of the comparisons to you? There's a lot of them out there. Oh, man, I got to see more. I got to see more. It's early. He's had a couple good games. I, I just got to see more. I, I like that. You <laughs> see, Devon, you got to heal up. You got to get back there. You can make history, but you got to do your thing. Um, okay, so we talked. What else do you want to talk about here? How are you feeling about this? Two and three Titans taking on the three and two Ravens. Who are you keeping your eye on on the the Raven side of things? On the Raven side, I just I just think if we if we can slow Lamar down, don't let OBJ have a game on us. Don't let him dance in the end zone. I think we're going to be okay. And, you know, like I said, get Derrick Henry going. I really want to see D-Hop get going Okay, and he's been looking better. Yeah, he's been looking better, but I want to see him get going early in the game, not wait till the end. Like, first, let's come out the first drive and throw him the ball. Let's get him at least five targets, five, six targets in the first quarter. Like, get him going early. And that'll get some of those, back some of those guys out of the box for Derrick Henry. And you'll see one of those normal Derrick Henry games. Sounds like you should be coaching, Chris. Maybe. What do you think? I know you've been coaching up your twin boys. We yeah. just talked about how you'd like to pass that rushing title yeah. uh, and the scrimmage yard title down to them. Uh, we have, I think, some pictures of them. These are your twins. Hi- no, we have the highlights. Um, oh. You know, being a youth football coach, that's a, that sounds pretty uh, epic. Uh, man, it takes up Look a lot of time. <laughs> it takes up a lot of time. It's crazy. I didn't even know y'all had that. <laughs> How much are you loving this part of your life? Yeah, it's, it's pretty good to be able to go out there and teach them, and not just them, the rest of the kids that's on the team, be able to go around all those and coach them up and not just um, on the field, off the field, make sure that grades are right, all those type of things. But it's just it's just a joy just to go out there on the weekends and watch them play and the smiles that, you know, put on their face when they score touchdowns, make big plays and stuff like that. So It's amazing. Okay, yeah. well, have fun in London. Is there anything that you want to go do what's on the bucket list? Have you been here before? No, I've never been here before. I heard it's a lot of, like, um, 
art galleries and mm-hmm. stuff like that, like that, I, pr- I probably want to check out and stuff like that and check out the food and stuff like that. Okay, but well then you got to take a nap because you got to be getting this crowd pumped. I was yeah. here last week. It's epic. It's ha- happening at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. This is Chris Johnson, the 12th Titan. And maybe if you, I mean, Rapes, if you're not going to give the ball to Derrick Henry, like, you're gone. You're on the hot seat, and Chris Johnson's going to take over. We're going to text <laughs> Amy about it. She's probably flying in on a jet while the rest of us are sitting in coach. But that's okay. We love you, Amy. We love you. And we'll be back here live from London. Uh, we've got the Ravens and the Titans coming up on Sunday. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Amazing. We'll be back. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest Up and Adams content right on YouTube.